Hey guys, welcome back to C2E2. I'm Justin Tyler here for Newsarama.com talking to Scott Snyder. Hello, hey. sir. Hey, thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, you bet. Great shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. What would Batman do? Let's talk about it. What would Batman do? Batman, I feel like, would tell me to man up all the time. I have him in my head, and I feel like when I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, God, I, my feet hurt from walking at this con. He's like, man up, Scott. So that's what he, he was. So you hear his voice in your head? Yes, it's getting there. When I, I've been like trying to lift weights a little bit because Greg Capullo is hu- he's huge, you know. And I sit with him on these panels, and I feel like a Keebler elf, like uh, <laughs> next to him. So I'm like, and whenever I'm lifting, I'm always like, you can hear Bruce be like, "That's all you got." You're like, "All right, all right." You know? What Batman voice is it? Oh, uh, Tim Conroy. Yeah, absolutely. It's got to be uh, Kevin Conroy. I mean, yeah. it has to be absolutely. He is the ultimate. Uh, so Court of Owls really uh, giving some trouble to old Batman and a big crossover coming up. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, man, we've been, I feel bad because everyone's like, oh, you've been beating up on Bruce so bad. And, yeah. And then I feel all guilty. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. But um, issue eight, which I actually have right here, which is coming out this week, oh. we're going to dish out some big punishment to the owls. So they go a little too far and they try and uh, they get into the manor and they really get into Bruce's home and his heart and it really becomes at that point too much for him and he just goes ballistic on them so all the heavy artillery is coming out you're going to see new bat suits new bat uh, mobiles new bat weaponry everything so he's going to go to town on them and with the crossover what we're really excited about honestly is just the opportunity to show all of these talons that were released into over the skies in issue seven each one of them is from a different era of gotham's past when the court was a different generation of the court and they had their own assassins so what we tried to do is give every writer a chance to pick an era they wanted to explore and make a talon from that era and give a reason why that talon would be a good one to face off with their hero and ask them if you, they could to, to show the talon's era a little bit in their story. So you're going to get to see huge amounts of Gotham history, like all secret windows into the 50s, the 1600s, the 1800s, the 20s, because the story is largely about Gotham's secret dark past coming to attack the heroes of the present. So I'm really thrilled about it, and I'm also thrilled that it was the kind of event where we gave everybody their own room, and I didn't tell them what to do or anything like that. We just said, this is how a talent behaves. This is sort of the the Bible on them, and go to town. And so the stuff that Kyle did on Nightwing, Kyle starts it off with me at number eight. Ours are number eight and nine, both, and everybody else is number nine. But what he did in Nightwing, what Gail did in Batgirl, what what, uh, Jimmy and uh, Justin did in All-Star, for example, is incredible. I'm so proud of being a part of it, not even being like, you know, someone that, that, that developed the story, but just having my book next to theirs makes me thrilled and proud. I'm really excited to see what you guys think. Oh, yeah, I love the way you gave them sort of control. I feel like that's sort of rare in a crossover to be like, here, here are the elements we need for the crossover, but really bring it, bring your character to the forefront and use those ideas and have it affect the, the crossover and the villain that you're creating. Yeah, that's that awesome. Was, thanks, man. That was the whole idea was sort of, I love what everyone's doing in the Bat family with their stories, you know, and it was about just letting them tell a good story for their character with one toy from this, you know, from from our sort of toy box, you know. So I'm really excited about it, and we really wanted to do something different and be a little risky with it, so I I really hope everyone likes it as much as we did.